Hi there, and welcome to our How to Set Up EFT Payments in Financials 365 video. Today, we are going to show you the setup required for doing EFT payments to vendors in Financials. Financials for Office 365 allows for EFT payments to be handled within the payment journal and uploaded in ABA format to your bank online for processing the payment. EFT is the electronic transfer of money from one bank account to another. Thus, this will require your business to utilize online banking. Prior to doing EFT payments in financials, some initial setup is required in multiple areas of the system. To give you a brief overview, this video will show you how to set up company information, entering the lodgement reference length Set up bank accounts for EFT, ensuring the bank accounts you intend to process EFT from have EFT enabled. Set up vendor bank accounts, ensuring vendors who you will be paying through EFT have their bank accounts enabled for EFT first. Set up users to process EFT, making sure the users in Financials 365 have permission to generate EFT payments. And finally, set up the payment journal ready for EFT by making sure payment journal batches have EFT enabled. By the end of this video, you should be ready to process a vendor payment journal and generate an EFT payment ABA file to upload to the bank. Let's start by opening financials with our demo company, Lucy's Lemonade, which is a copy of the financials standard company. To begin, in the universal search function, enter company information and then choose the related link. Company information. It is important to enter the length of the lodgement reference used when generating EFT payment files for the bank, usually 18 for Australian banks and 12 for some New Zealand banks, including BNZ. Check with the bank to confirm the length required. Next, how to set up bank accounts for EFT. Enter bank accounts and then choose the related link. Any bank accounts you intend to process EFT from must have EFT enabled. Create or open the bank account you wish to generate EFT for. Enter the bank's details, including number, name, bank branch number, bank account number, and bank account posting group. Select EFT Setup from the ribbon. When prompted, if you want to select Create an EFT Setup for this bank number, click Yes. Some of the fields will be auto-populated based on the bank account card. The fields you must fill are Bank Payment Reference, Bank Abbreviation, which is limited to three characters, and the EFT Number Series. The other fields are optional for sending remittance. Next, hop back to the Bank Accounts window. On the Transfer Files tab, fill out the Bank Statement Import Format and Payment Export Format. Bank Statement Import Format specifies the format of the Bank Statement file that can be imported into this bank account. Create New. Enter the code name, direction, import and populate the processing code unit ID, and check export code unit. The payment export format specifies the format of the bank file that will be exported when you choose the export payments to file button in the payment journal window. There should be an ABA export code already set up for your region, in this case, ABA. Next, enter vendors and then choose the related link. How to set up vendor bank accounts. Vendors who you will be paying through EFT must have bank accounts enabled for EFT first. Open a vendor card, which you will be generating EFT payments for. Open the Payments Fast tab. The key fields to fill in are the payment method code and lodgement reference. 
Select a vendor bank and ensure that the vendor bank account card is filled in. The key fields are the bank branch number, bank account number, and ticking the default EFT box. Next, how to set up users to process EFT. Search for user setup and open the first link. You have the power to control which users in financials for Office 365 have permission to generate EFT payments. Add the user ID which you wish to generate EFT payments for your business. You can set certain date parameters for when this user can post transactions. To enable this user to generate EFT, click the Generate Payment box. Next, how to set up the payment journal for EFT. Enter Payment Journal and then choose the related link. You will notice that there will be some default journal batches available. Only certain payment journal batches should have EFT enabled since not every transaction will require EFT payments for payables. Ensure that the balance account number and EFT bank number are the same when we're creating the EFT batch. Note, when multiple bank accounts are used for EFT payments, create a separate batch for each bank. Open the payment journal. And now you are ready for our next video, how to use EFT payments in Financials 365 where we will show you how to enter an EFT payment journal and generate the ABA file ready to upload to the bank to pay your vendors.